Hi friends, Mickey from Figma here, and today we're gonna make a spoopy ghost icon. The first thing I'm gonna do here in Figma is come over to my little icon grid. I'm gonna begin by pressing the R key, and with the R key, I'm gonna draw out a rectangle. So let's see this rectangle here. It's gonna be 12 by 18, and let's put it in the center. I'm gonna double click on that, select these two points that are up here at the top, and round those corners out to a very large degree. Next, I'm gonna come down here, and you'll notice that when I hover over this midpoint, I can click and add in all of these midpoint segments. Now, these are going to be integral to helping us make our ghost have its little bed sheet patterns down here. So what I've done is I've selected each of these points down here holding the shift key and now I can move those up. I can also select these points here and I'm gonna move them up to that point. Now what I'm gonna do is all of these points that I have selected here, I'm gonna go back and round out those corners. So let's round out those corners right about there and let's select just those last corner too. Now when I'm selecting them holding the shift key to get them both at the same time and then here I I can even begin to adjust how much those corners are rounded out. I can select all of these points here and just drag them down a little bit further to adjust where those fall. Now at this point, let's also press Shift X to get the stroke. Let's set the stroke to be on the outside. If you need to make any adjustments, I can select these two points and move those up or down for the bottom of my spoopy ghost. Next, what we're going to do, I'm going to press the O key. Let's draw in a eye. Let's draw in a second eyeball. I'm duplicating that eyeball by holding down the option key. It's the alt key if you're on Windows. Move that over there. Now let's draw in another circle. So there we go. And here I'm going to highlight the arc tool. Let's select that arc tool, round that out. We have like a nice big smile. Let's make that smile just a little bit smaller because we're going for that spoopy vibe. So let's take a quick look here. Let's look up there. Let's look there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use selection colors. I'm going to select the ghost. I'm going to come down here to my selection colors. Let's make that absolute black and that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with the way that my spoopy ghost is coming out. And the last thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to select all of those little bits. We're going to come up here and we're going to union that selection, making it one whole object. So there we go. There's my spoopy ghost. Let me know how I did and if there's any other icons that you would love to learn how to make. And once again, happy designing.